Greetings to our honorable partner of judges. My name is Vinh Son, and the two teammates with me today are Thu Ming and Ngoc Minh. We are a team of three scholars from Vinh School, Vietnam, and we are here to showcase and discuss our study on the chemical constituents and biological activities of stingless bee properties from two species in Vietnam, one from Tuyen Quang province and the other from Hua Bing province. Firstly, allow me to briefly introduce our research topic. Now, what exactly is stingless bee properties? Stingless bees are bees within the biological tribe Meliponini who cannot sting. And Poplis is a beehive product made from plant resins and beeswax. Therefore, it comes in a large variety. Within the beehive, Poplis is used to seal off cracks and prevent diseases from the bees themselves. For that reason, it is a traditional remedy in Vietnam and other countries here in Southeast Asia, well known for its antimicrobial properties. Regardless, there have been only a few studies on stingless bee properties in Vietnam, which is the main reason why we choose to study this topic. We have two main objectives that we want to achieve in this study. First, we wish to isolate and identify the structures of three to five chemical constituents each from propolis of Hua Bing and Tuyen Quang. Secondly, we want to test Hua Bing's bee propolis for antimicrobial activity. Now, I would like to explain our methodology. After obtaining bee propolis samples from two beekeepers in Hua Bing and Tuyen Quang, we extracted the sample using a solution of 70% ethanol and partitioned it using N-hexane and ethyl acetate. Secondly, we had to isolate the chemical compounds within the ethanol extract by using combined chromatographic methods. We, we use column chromatography to gradually isolate the substances and thin layer chromatography to check for the purity of the extracts that we separated. For column chromatography, we use silica gel as the, as the stationary phase and the varying solutions of N-hexane and acetone as the mobile phase. Consequently, we isolated 10 chemical compounds, 4 from Huabing Propolis and 6 from Tuyen Quang, which we use for the next step, elucidating the chemical structures. We did this with the help of spectroscopic methods, including mass spectroscopy and nuclear magnetic resonance spectrum. Our fourth and final step was to test for the chemical constituents from Hua Bing Propolis for antimicrobial activity. Using Barth micro dilution method based on MIC against three strains of gram positive and three strains of gram negative bacteria and one strain of fungus. MIC is the medium inhibitory concentration the lowest concentration of a substance required to prevent visible microbial growth. Therefore, the lower the MSC value for a substance, the more effective it is at inhibiting the growth of that microbe. Hey there, my name is Tu Ming and I'll be walking you through our team's results section as well as the study's conclusions. After step number three, we have identified four chemical compounds from stingless bee propolis from Hobbit as cycloordinal, congestion A, alpha mangosteen, and isomangifluoric acid. From Tien Quang Propolis, we identified the structure of six chemical compounds, however, and namely, they are lentonolic acid, dihydroquinephril alcohol, vanillin, eudesmin, and yangambin. What's very interesting to us is that compound number six here, shown in pink, is potentially a new chemical compound, as we did not find any available data online that matches its chemical structure. Furthermore, our study discovered the presence of lanthanoic acid in stingless bee propolis for the first time ever, and both of these findings combined are very promising to us. After step number 4, we found out that the ethanol extract of Hobbit B propolis had a great use against gram positive bacteria, but not so effective against gram negative bacteria or fungus. Out of the four chemical constituents isolated from Hobbit propolis, alpha mangosteen showed the best pharmaceutical potential due to its great overall antimicrobial properties against both bacteria and fungus, illustrated here in this table by its very low MIC values and thus potency. Compared to the two antibiotics we included as a positive control, Alpha mangosteen actually seems more effective in vitro, which is again very promising to us. Now, I'll discuss our team's conclusions. To sum up with you, our findings have identified several chemical constituents of stingless bee propolis collected from Vietnam, including lanthanoic acid, which is a compound never bef been found before in stingless bee propolis, and compound number six, which could be a new compound based on online databases. We've also shown that stingless bee propolis has, from Harbing has great pharmaceutical potential as it has antimicrobial properties and alpha mangosteen in particular is very effective in inhibiting the growth of disease causing microbes. Lastly, I will discuss the applications and future works of our study. 
We are currently evaluating the anti-cancer properties of the Dunguang stainless steel properties. But due to time constraints, we apologize that we cannot um, include that in our data. We are planning to research more about the activity of the extract on humans as well as its potential use as a drug or healthcare product, uh, such as mouthwash or antibiotics. With that said, I would like to conclude our presentation. Our team is grateful to you all, and we are now ready to answer your questions. Thank you for listening.